remodeled this dollhouse and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tour. And also there's Dora. So let's start up top here. I painted this room and as you can see, I've got all of this neat furniture out for Samantha and for her sister Nellie. My favorite part of this room are the windows that I did there. These are made out of dollar store picture frames. And then I printed the window scene and glued on the curtains. I've got two matching windows there, sorry for the glare. And then moving down here, oh, that is a placemat from my dining room. Moving down here, this is my 90s room. I absolutely love this room. That is my Samantha doll from 1991 wearing the 1995 meat outfit. We've got the bunk bed in the back with the sleeping bags, her little bear, her varsity jacket, and her computer, which does in fact actually work as well. You can type an essay. And also you can draw the Big Dipper. Super, super cute. That was a local find as was the bed. And I glued the curtains on in that room. And in this room, I also did add that striped wallpaper that is wrapping paper from the dollar store. And the border is actually duct tape, but I think it makes a really cute background in her room. The lighting in here is also all from the dollar store. These are just push on lights that are uh, mostly stuck on this one I actually wound up gluing on because the sticky back didn't want to stay moving next door this is actually what I consider Felicity's room because it's Felicity's table and chairs but Marie Grace and Cecile are hanging out here and that is Rebecca's sideboard in the back in this room I actually did velvet wall paneling with this trim on top the trim came with the dollhouse so I took that out before I repainted all of the rooms and I love the little artwork that I've hung up here so we've got girl on the swing by Fragonard that's one of my favorite 18th century paintings as well well as this painting of Madame Pompadour. I believe it's Madame Pompadour, which I absolutely love. These two paintings are both in the Wallace collection in the same room. It was a shock to walk into that museum and see those beautiful paintings. I do need to redo the flooring in all of these rooms because it got some paint splatters on them. Moving down here, this is kind of a temporary setup with Molly, with Samantha's desk, and also with the vinyl jumper back there. This is stick-on, like, drawer liner contact paper from the dollar store that I have done as the border around the edges. And then I love this room. This one's not in the video that you'll see on YouTube because I actually just finished this a couple days ago, but this is Kirsten's little log cabin room. So again, this is the stick-on drawer liner from the dollar store, but this time I actually drew with Sharpie all of these lines on so it would look like log cabin paneling. And she's got her little accessories, her kittens, random carpet, I don't know where that's from, and then her quilt I actually hung on the wall with masking tape balled up behind it, and it worked really, really well. So that is my new setup for display. I do have some of the other dolls in the other room, but I thought I would just give you a quick little tour of my new dollhouse. You can check out a full video of the full making, remodeling, etc. of this dollhouse on my YouTube channel, 